We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Nate Evaldi gets the ball for the Red Sox in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Well, this guy was unbelievably good in this last one. Struck out a ton of guys in an amazing performance, and all of his pitches were working. Let's hope he brings that A game back with him in this one. Behind 0-2 now. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Hit on the ground out to short. Bogarts has it. Throw on to first in time, one away. First delivery to him on the way. No balls and a strike to count. And facing right-handed pitching so far this season, Grossman is hitting just over the benchmark 300 plateau. Source of pride for him, I'm sure. These are the type of hitters that absolutely frustrate a pitching staff and a pitching coach. He's not trying to do a ton of damage, but he's certainly going to put the ball in play and be a pest the entire season. So he got him swinging. Robbie Grossman goes down for out number two in the top half. Guys, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They come in unbeaten and playing well here in the early going. Maddie, this is the best team in baseball right now. I, I mean, just a double-digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot. This team is rocking in all facets right now, and they're a fun watch. The 0-2 once more. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. One, two, three, go the A's. And now the Red Sox get their turn. No score. At the plate, Kevin Pillar. Lead it It'll lead things off Red here Sox. in the bottom half of the first. The right fielder, Kevin Pillar. High in the air out towards shallow right. Piscotti's there for it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. So here now is Jackie Bradley. He enters play sixth in the American League in the batting race. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. That is her. The left-handed no hitting left Andrew Benintendi stands in. He carries the eighth best average in the American League entering play. This season really shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what he pulls this one high and deep to right center field. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. That's how the manager drew it up right there. Hold the visiting team scoreless and then grab a huge home run in the first. Now here's the pitch. Bounce it to the left side. Simeon's got it. Throw on to Olsen will take care of him at first and that ends the inning. The Red Sox are on the board thanks to the... And that'll bring up Matt Olson. He'll get us started in the top of the second. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. And this is popped foul off to the right and back into the seats. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. On a good curveball. Gets him swinging for route number one. Big curveball for the strikeout there, and that came after an absolute missile of a fastball. Even if you recognize the breaking ball out of the pitcher's hand, it's so hard for hitters to sit back long enough after they've seen a really good fastball. Only the best can keep their hands back on those. Red Sox on top in the early going. 1-0 as we play the second. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. And that's cut on and missed 0-1. Man, that's seven straight strikes to start this inning. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. Bases are empty here with two men out. And another foul ball. 
And he got another one here. He strikes out the side. He set down five and here now is Rafael Devers, one of the better hitters in the league this year, currently seventh in the American League in hitting. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And a foul tip held on to here at strike one. And Dan Dero, this Oakland ball club entering play here tonight. They have not been playing all that well, to put it charitably as they come into this one losers of seven straight games. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And it's gone into the home bullpen. So we'll take one more look. And boy, he just continues to hit the ball out of the ballpark at an alarming rate. What a year. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. Yanked on the ground down the line. But this is foul for the first strike. That average way, way up there to start things out. With just a staggering number of home runs and just an absurd total of RBIs for a single season. Oh, and two home now to Bogarts. And there's a line drive, base hit to left field. So coming to the plate, Michael Chavis. And he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. First pitch coming. Here it is. Pitch inside. The throw is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. Fastball runs a bit inside. He's down 2-0. and oh. Boy, this is one of those tricky spots for a pitcher, right? You have an open base, but you have a guy on deck that can do a lot of damage. Not a good spot to be in if you're a pitcher right now. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And this will get down and make its way to the monster for extra bases. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. They off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. First delivery to him on the way. Here's a swing now by Pedroia as he sends this one in the air to deep left field. Gone over the monster and out onto Lansdowne Street. We've seen these guys go deep three times so far in this one, guys. You know, d -Row, looks like the boys are dialing long distance from the batter's box so far. <laughs> yeah, the pitchers aren't fooling anyone today, Dan. Let's see if this trend continues. Now, this one is blasted to left field, and there's no doubt about it. Back-to-back -back jacks. Well, sometimes runs come in bunches, and that's definitely the case in this inning. That's three, count them, three home runs in this frame alone, four for the game. Did someone throw a home run derby they didn't tell me about? Sure looks that way. J.B. Wendelkin enters from the pen in just the second inning, so they'll hope to get some length out of him and have him stay out there for a while. Wendelkin. In now, Kevin Pillar. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. And you see on the graphic right there that his hitting streak will indeed live on as he just continues to hit the ball well. Here comes the first pitch. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. One there. Relay to Olsen and they turn the double play. So the base is empty now after the double play. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Andrew Benintendi. First pitch of the at-bat. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And it's gone as they add still another. Andrew Benintendi leaves the yard with a solo shot. His second home run of the game as this lead swells to 7 to nothing. Up 
Jet for the Red Sox. The designated hitter. Here's J.D. Martinez. He had high and deep out there to left center field. Going back is the center fielder. And it's out of here. Back to back, two out home runs. So a solo shot here to left center field. So he just continues to club the baseball at an alarming rate as they've widened this lead to eight now. Guys, do you believe what we're seeing here today? With six home runs so far, this lineup is turning in a performance for the ages at the plate. Yeah, Matty D. Well, d -Row, you kind of expect a high-scoring game with that green monster here at Fenway. Yeah, it changes your whole mindset. Right center's out of the equation. Dead right field's out of the equation. Goes to 380 at its deepest part. Unless you want to hit one down to pesky pole, you're looking to pepper that green monster. They've gotten their hits in deep counts. They've gotten their hits in early counts. Oh, this has been a real onslaught. Yeah, you can look at it one of two that ways, Matty. Either they have a ton of respect for the man on the mound, and they are just going to ambush tactics, and it seems to work for them. Or you can look at Meanwhile here, the throw down to second is not in time, and it's a stolen base. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Pitch outside the throw. Not in time as he just does get in there ahead of the throw. You know, I was pretty surprised to see him on the move to third because it didn't seem like he had that much of a lead, but he made it work out. That was really impressive. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Outfielder Steven Piscotti the next to hit. He leads off this half inning in what they hope will be a rebuttal to all those runs they just gave up. Well, Matt, I think mentally they need to get one or two of these runs back right here. Just getting on the board after getting socked in the mouth by an opposing team can lift the team up a bit. We'll see if they can string something together. And he fouls this one off. Fouled off. He'll try again, one, two. Oh, and they still have no answer for him up there. Six straight punch outs now, and there's one away. Coming to the plate now, Austin Allen. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. High bouncer toward the hole. And there's out number two. Batting, First pitch coming. Here it is. Yeah. Chad Pinder is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. A's still looking for that elusive first hit of the ball game, and that's in there as well. 0 oh, and two now. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that. And we're back for the bottom of the third. Let's check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I talked about the Red Sox offense with the Boston manager. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. Top to bottom, he said his guys have been picking on the right pitches to swing at, and they've done a nice job of using the whole field. He said that always seems to be a recipe for success, and their seven extra base hits in this one are evidence that it has been. The batter number Okay, thank you, Heidi. Second baseman. One away, and here's the 2008 AL MVP, Dustin Pedroia. Fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Pedroia is really quite an athlete. Not only does he drive the ball with great power, but he's also a big-time threat on the base pass. He can really fly. Yeah, Matty, this guy's got tools oozing off him. When he gets out of the car at the stadium, you know he's going to impact the game, whether with his legs or with his back. You think there's any justice in the game? Watch those two at bats. Both of them hit on the absolute screws. One's right at one guy, and then one's a single. Go figure. Strike called. Now the throw down. And they won't get him. It's a stolen base for Pedroia. Well, this pitcher's out there just trying to get hitters out, and he's having a hard time doing that. So as a base runner, that's a good time to try to steal some bases. He's probably not as focused on controlling the running game as he should be. It's fouled away. The 
the one two he is swung on and missed he got him now at the plate Kevin Pillar runner in scoring position with two gone first pitch on its way this is line to left that's in there base hit Pedroia rounds third and is digging for the plate and he's safe at the plate as they extend their lead even further yeah Dan he's got to feel pretty good about that not only did he have a great AB first pitch hacking but he smoked that ball to mix in a ribby knot boy he did he must have had a pretty good plan of attack walking into that batter's box and he had an idea meanwhile here the throw to third is not in time and he's in there safely pretty unusual decision to swipe third with two outs and hitting it's a big risk, especially with a lefty hitter up there, and the benefit isn't all that great, but he made it work out. Grossman is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. And that'll bring in Ramon Laureano back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. Robbie Grossman will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Behind 0-2 now. Now a ball lined to the left side. But foul. Again, another foul ball. The 0-2 once more. Catches the corner. Got him looking. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take. And he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch. And hold on there. That's not going to get him in there with the stolen base. 0 oh, and 1 count and the pitch. Fouled away. In his career, Simeon carries a batting line a little over the 260 mark. And he fouls this one off. Ready with another 0 2. And he rings up another one. Make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? And what's even more impressive, no walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. Here it comes on nothing and two. High and deep down the left field line. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. Ready to go for the last half Ready of the inning. Go. Stepping well, into the box, go. Andrew Benintendi. Go and his confidence has Andrew. to be in a really good place right now, Andrew. having already launched two balls over the fence in this one. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. And it goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. But it bangs off the out-of-town scoreboard. The more things change, the more they stay the same. This guy's been producing at the plate all year long, and this at bat is no different. He's probably surprised it didn't leave the yard after the season he's having, but he'll just have to settle for a double. And that's in there. Base hit. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. Well, Dero, you know, they say records are made to be broken. And what a monster year this guy's had. Yeah, there it is, Dan. Most RBIs in one season. I can't begin to tell you as a former offensive player what that means. You want to put biscuits in the basket. Run scored. And he's in the second safely with the stolen base. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. That's a strike to throw down. It's wide, and he's in there with the stolen base. Now the 0-2 pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And he will get in to score, and it's a run batted in on the sacrifice fly. The batter, number two. So stepping in, Xander Bogarts. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it with this guy. Hit high and deep to left field. 
Racing back the left fielder, and it's gone into the monster seats. It's a solo shot for Xander Bogarts. So he just continues to club the baseball at an alarming rate as the blowout continues. Wow, talk about a guy getting hot, right? Hits a bomb, hit one yesterday. Usually when he gets hot, he starts to hit them in both. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. The batter number 15. Digging in to try Second it again, base Dustin base. Pedroia. He's off to a fast start in this one. Two for two, including a home run. He's running. Pitches a cold strike. The throw way late, and he's in there easily at second. Three runs already home here. And the runner's breaking for third. Pitch outside. The throw he is not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. Short hit hard. Simeon's there. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile the runner is in to score. For the red Coming to the plate now, Christian Vasquez he comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Drilled to the left side, and the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Another multi-hit game for him here tonight. No surprise there as we take a look at the league leaders in hitting. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Stepping in now, Kevin Pillar. In there, now the throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Set and the 0-1. Pitch outside. The throw is going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Here's Jackie Bradley now. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Now the 1 0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. Might have to change your game plan in the box right here. If he's going to pound away, might have to work the opposite field. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Outside, that's the ball. They're going to probably stay away from this guy. He's got so much power, you don't want to miss over the heart of the plate. But I think when pitchers try to be too cute on that outside corner, they might leak one a little bit inside. Oh, there it goes. In the air to left center, and you can forget about this one. Back-to-back -back home runs. A solo shot off the bat of Jackie Bradley Jr. And so he ties the big redhead with home run number 70 on the year as this lead got even wider. Up next for the red side, the left fielder. Andrew. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. But a big inning. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Well, Matt, I talked to manager Bob Melvin during the break about his thoughts on the A's hitters to this point. And he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said they've been chasing at pitches the out of the left. zone all game, the which obviously hit. doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. Thank you, Heidi. Strike two called on the inner and half. 0-2 oh now. Two well-executed pitches at the knees right there. But I know this hitter's looking for something up. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Fouled off.
And it's fouled away. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0-2 count. Hopped up. Chavis shading to his right, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Now that the third base. First pitch coming. Matt. Here it is. Matt Chapman comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. A ball and a strike to count to Matt Chapman. Now one hit foul over to the right side as the count moves to one and two. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Swing and a miss 0 and 1. All bets are off for the offense right now. This guy's got a low pitch count. He's attacking the zone. They have to get more aggressive. This guy's not going anywhere. And he's got another one here. 12 punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the inning. A's are Liam Hendricks gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. First delivery to him on the way. J.D. Martinez is the batter now as he looks at a ball 1-0. In previous meetings with Liam Hendricks, two hits in seven tries. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the left field wall. Hey, this guy's obviously seeing the ball right now. That's now another man. hard hit single. Oh, Three for four right there. Oh, He's oh, looking yeah. super solid at the plate. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Pitch inside the throw. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Weak rounder back to the mound. And a good throw gets him one gun. The batter, number two. Here's Xander Bogarts now. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Fouled away. This is line to left. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. Top of the throw will be well up the line as he scores easily. Well, that wasn't your standard sack fly hit. It was hit pretty low and hard, so it wasn't a given they were going to send it. But they did, and they add a number to the run column. Into the box, Michael Chavis. So far, two for three in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Got him swinging in the dirt. Allen goes to get it. And that ends the inning. So one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left on base. So striding in, Austin Allen will start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. Got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters, 13 strikeouts now. The bat. Here's the first pitch to him. Chad Pinder is next as he finds himself behind. Pitch on the way. 
No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. Fly ball out toward left center field. Waiting on it is Benintendi. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Now that Now at the plate, Ramon Laureano. A hit in two tries for him so far. First pitch fastball in there for a called strike. Man, he's looking sharp so far. 80% of his first pitches are for strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. And he's going to add to the total. 14 punch outs now as that ends the inning. One. Leading off for the Red Sox. The second baseman. Here comes the first pitch down the third baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. The pitch. Here's a swing now by Pedroia as he sends this one in the air to deep left field. On to Lansdowne and gone! A solo home run off the bat of Dustin Pedroia. His second of the game as they just continue to pour it on now here. The pitcher, Christian. To the plate now, Christian Vasquez. Line drive base hit. Loud noises right here, fellas. Hey, he's going to have to mix it up a little bit more because they are on his stuff. At the plate, Kevin Pillar. Pitch inside the throw, and it's far too late as he steals second with ease. Vasquez leads off second with nobody out. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. And he'll steer clear of the flying debris to make the catch here for the first out. In now, Jackie Bradley Jr. He went deep last time up. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Flying hard toward right center. And this will hop over the wall, but the run will score. Yusmero Petit is going to get the call, and something of a surprising move Andrew. here is they're bringing in their closer in the sixth inning. Andrew Benintendi will stand in again as we flash you back to the early stages of this ball game. There were fans still finding their seats as he launched his second home run of the game as he was off to a fast start indeed. Here comes the 0 1. Into center field, line drive base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is into score. Well, I'm not sure they can do anything different, but it comes a time where you have to call the dogs off. I mean, they've already scored 20 runs, and this thing ain't over yet. We might be here till midnight. Strike taken, the throw is well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Pitch outside the throw. Throw won't get him. One out and a runner on third. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. And think about it. In game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Now batting. The third base Digging in, Rafael Devers. He's two for three and looking for more here. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit hard to the right side. Reined in. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So they score four times on four hits here. No errors, and no one left. Craig Kimbrell comes on to pitch from bullpen now in an unexpected move. He's their closer, so it's a surprise to see him here in the seventh. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. 
but it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. Now back into the box now. Marcus Semien as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball 0 and 1. No hits to this point. Off the plate one ball one strike. Kimbrell, once a member of the Chicago Cubs organization, he came here by way of trade earlier this year. I know he tells you he'd like to be playing a little bit better, but I think it's as advertised for this ball club right now. I think the manager is getting exactly what they expected. So he gets the swinging strikeout on the changeup. Marcus Simeon is retired on strikes for the third time tonight. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Interested to see what the pitcher goes to now. After getting that late hack on the curveball, does he speed him up with some velocity? Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Now that From the belt, the pitch. And they start him out away with a cold strike. Can't waste getting the leadoff runner on in this situation. Someone's got to bear down and get a big knock. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. So digging in now, Xander Bogarts. He'll lead things off as they look to perhaps build on an already sizable lead. Hit high and deep out to left field. Grossman is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. Now back. One man is out in the Red Sox seventh, and Michael Chavis will step in at the plate. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Fly ball right down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Hit on the ground toward the left. And a base hit into left field, so they've got themselves a one-out base runner. Every game the pitcher gets the lineup card, he circles the guy oh, that can't the beat him. Well, obviously, he didn't circle this guy. That's his third yeah. knock of the game, and he has been on fire. Oh, yeah. Runner goes. Strike called. Now the throw down. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Here comes the 0-1. This is line to left. And that's a fair ball as it'll head for the 3-10 sign on the monster. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. Sometimes it's hard to explain when a game is this lopsided. A lot of yes, things sir. just kind of snowball on you. One thing leads to another, a big hit, which leads to another. Some bad defense, some shoddy pitching. Next thing you know, you look up, and you're on the wrong side of a whole lot of badness. And they won't get him. It's a stolen base for Pedroia. Now the 1-0. Takes this the other way to right. Piscotti is there. Two down. Stepping in, Kevin Pillar. It's been a nice game for him. Three hits, including a homer to this point. He's set. Here it comes. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. And he fouls this one off. The 1 1 home. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. Sox settle for just the one. Ready for another chance? Matt Chapman. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Strike one to start the at bat. Laid off the bender there, but it's in for a called strike. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Now in the box, Stephen Piscotti. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Owen won the count. Is a swing and a high pop-up. Bogarts over to his left. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Now back. Checker. Off the first pitch on its way. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0-2 now. 
That was a good swing right there. Might be the best one he's had all night because he was right on it. That gets down, and the inning continues. The throw into second. And a good effort to bring it back in quickly, but he's in at second base with a double. Now and that brings up Chad Pinder. As yeah. He'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Fouled off. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. No runs, three hits, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Digging in, Jackie Bradley Jr. And he'll start out the bottom of the eighth inning. Here's the first pitch to him. This one skied out toward right. Piscotti's there for it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Up next for the Red Sox. Into the box no now, Andrew Benintendi. Andrew. Four hits already in this Andrew. one, and looking Andrew. for number five here. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And a fastball swung on and hit to second. Fielded cleanly. And the off balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Now battle. And that will bring up J.D. Martinez, working on a good line in this ball game, three for five thus far. A swing by Martinez, and this is driven to left. And gone! An absolute bomb. Hey, any home run in late innings certainly feels good, but when you're able to take the closer deep, you definitely send a message to the opposition. That's their shutdown guy out on the ball. Olsen takes it on his own, and the inning is over. Next up for the A's, Ramon Laureano. Starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. The left fielder, number eight. Digging in the switch Robbie. hitter, Robbie Grossman. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Ready with the 0 1. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0 and 2. Well executed fastball right at the knees. Going to be a long day for this offense if he stays in that spot. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Now batter. First pitch of the at bat on its way. In there, and it's 0 and 1. Grounded to the right. And with that, I can finally say the four words I've had on my mind for what seems like an eternity. This ball game is over. 23.